Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we are going to be talking about Nikola Motors. Well, not exactly yet, but we will be talking about Nikola Motors and the pre-order numbers. But before that, I just want to say that I just finished watching a show called The Boys. It's on Amazon Prime, and I would have to say that this show is a masterpiece. Uh, the the storyline is so intriguing, and it's pretty awesome in my opinion. Uh, I really enjoyed this show. I would give this a nine out of ten. A nine out of ten. That's top. That's pretty top score. I don't like to give things ten out of ten. Because it still had its flaws. Like the beginning was a little bit slow. But it got better and better and better along the way. And overall it's a really good enjoyable show. And I recommend anyone to watch it. Uh, just a little bit about the beginning. You know, uh, The whole story started with... One of the heroes kill uh this guy killing this uh this uh person's girlfriend uh on the street because he was running so fast that she just like splattered all over the streets. And yeah, that's the and then that's basically the story. But like in this world, basically heroes are treated like celebrities and yeah, that's that's about it because they can make money off the heroes but the storyline is very intriguing I don't want to give too much spoilers so definitely check it out if you have any time so let's start off with the Nikola Motor Unreveil uh, so there was an article I came across on uh, WCCF Tech and regarding uh, Nikola Motor basically taking a picture of uh, sorry Pre-orders for the Nikola Motors that's going to start very very soon on June 29th, I believe. So if you if you uh you know scroll in, you can see one f package one you get five hundred dollars off the purchase price. Uh, you also get one ticket to see the Nikola Badger at the Nikola World 2020. Two entries to win a Nikola Badger giveaway. So that's pretty cool. To uh, get like a, a, a you know to win it, uh, but you know it it looks like a cool car, but you know if I had to trust my money with either Tesla or Nikola, I would trust my money with Tesla more with the Cybertruck more because the Cybertruck's unique. The, this looks like a cool car. It looks very modern and it looks really cool and it's half hydrogen. Uh, but if I had to put my money down, I still get out the Cybertruck over the Nikola Motor Badger. That's just, you know, that's what I would pick if I had the choice between a Nikola Motor Badger and the Cybertruck. I would go with the Cybertruck, period, the end. Wouldn't even think about the Nikola Motor Badger. This is a half hydrogen and half electric truck. Uh, the 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 pricing it between sixty to ninety thousand dollars, which is not bad because some trucks out there are very very expensive, and sixty to ninety thousand dollars for this truck is not that bad of an entry price. But yeah, anyways, um, if you are interested, you know, check it out, figure it out. I mean, I went to the website and see anything like that. I'm probably not gonna pre-order. But, you know, you could win. You could win a Nikola Badger, which is pretty cool. But, you know, some people might just sign up just to try to attempt to win one of these trucks. And maybe uh, in the future, if they can't afford it, probably return the pack, uh, probably get the refund back. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll sign up just to have a chance to win. But I don't know. I don't know. I, and Canada is also difficult too because they, they're not really a Canada based company and uh, I don't know where I would be able to fill up in hydrogen in Canada so Cybertruck I know for sure I can just f find electricity somewhere anyway so moving forward Nikola Motor I still think the stock is extremely expensive it, it, they are having an evaluation of 25 almost 24.5 billion dollars when 
Tesla started out, they had an evaluation of $4 billion or $1 billion. I have no idea. I don't remember. I wasn't there back then. But according to my research, according to a bunch of people who were talking about it, a long time ago, Tesla had an evaluation of around like $1 to $4 billion or something like that. I, yeah, so. Anyways, Tesla now is worth a lot more. They are worth... 183 billion dollars they are worth more than they worth as much as Netflix right now Netflix Netflix is worth 187 billion dollars and Tesla is worth 183 billion dollars I wonder if Tesla will surpass Netflix in market cap in the near future here so yeah like I said, I went to their website and I don't see anything about pre-orders, so I don't know. I might change my mind. I might pre-order and hope I win a Nikola Moore Badger. That would be kind of cool. Probably not going to buy it because if I had the choice between this or the Cybertruck, I'd probably pick over the Cybertruck. So, you know, that's just me though. Hertz. So I learned something new today. <laughs> I can't believe Hertz actually came. Hertz say it expects stockholders to lose all their money all their money in filing for selling more stock that is hilarious can't believe Hertz is getting away with this I can't believe Hertz is getting away with destroying retail investors that don't know any better I'm surprised that uh, that uh, uh, Hertz don't just drop down to zero cents because it should, after you hear something about this, you, it should drop to zero dollars. Unless, unless, unless the Fed buys up their corporate bonds. Their corporate debt, if the Fed buys up Hertz's corporate debt, Hertz could be the best investment right now, but I don't know <laughs> if they're going to do it. Are they going to be buying up Hertz corporate debt? I, I have no idea, but they have announced that they are starting to buy individual corporate bonds bonds that's basically corporate debt right there at least you know that's what i think uh unless you guys are you know tell me i'm an idiot and this i i don't know what i'm talking about and i'm wrong because i could be wrong i could be wrong i'm i'm no expert in this market i just like to talk about the market because i have an interest in it i have an interest in the stock market that's why i'm talking about this corporate bond buying Trying to understand a little better, but just this article right here, it's just, I'm like, wow. Just, wow. If any retail investors came across this, sell, 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 sell. Like, like that's what I would do. I would literally sell if I saw this, unless I'm gambling on uh, the Fed buying up corporate bonds. Buying up the Hertz corporate bond and prevent it from going bankrupt, which is a total possibility. Uh... The market right now, the market was crazy today. It was like green, red, green. It's like, well, I guess it was just red and then it just went green. So, I mean, it's it's just crazy. It's like I seen a thousand, down, a thousand points down last night and then all of a sudden this morning we're up 157 points. That's just, that's just amazing. Um... Let's look at the pre-market. Pre-market, yep, pre-market is uh, green. Okay, well, no more stock market crash. Feds prevented it. They're buying up the corporate bonds. They, they're buying individual stocks. They are doing whatever they want to pump the stock market and not allow it to crash because that's what Trump wants. So, yeah. Uh, so Hertz, you know, should crash to like pennies, like 10 cents, 20 cents. That's what it should do. Uh, but will it? I have no idea. You know, I, I just went on the, I went on, uh, Robin Hood and I get, as I, as you can tell, Hertz still has 167,000 Robin Hood investors that are going to beg hold that money to zero to zero that is insane unless the, like I said the Fed comes in and buys up puts his bonds or debt which you know is a possibility and completely just own hurts uh, locking coffee up 
two cents at the hour is not too much to say about that carnival is up 31 cents after hours the market is not crashing canopy is probably going to go up tomorrow uh even if their drinks suck even if their chocolate sucks even if people are stealing market share from canopy it does not matter if rich people don't want to sell off canopy it won't go down if rich people want to pump it it will go up they control the markets uh, Aurora is uh, neutral after hours if Canopy goes up, Aurora will go up no matter how bearish I am or no matter what, I, how much I hope Aurora's stock will crash as long as Canopy holds, Aurora will hold with it same with all the other MJ companies um, Tesla and Nikola is going to be connected uh, Tesla, if Tesla crashes real hard, Nikola Motors will crash. Short sellers are going to get squeezed out of this position eventually, unless they would decide to hold forever and hope that the stock price doesn't go up higher. Uh, Hexo, Hexo, yeah, like Hexo trades with the rest of the market. The market goes down, Hexo will go down. Uh, USO oil went up today and USO went up. That's just, USO is the best way to. Well, not the best way, but it's one way to trade oil moving up. Or you can buy individual oil stocks. Uh, let's check out friend Chesapeake. Let's see what Chesapeake is doing. Chesapeake is still kind of down. And Chap. Chap is... Ooh, look at that. Up 12 cents at the hours. Um, yeah, not too much to say about that. Uh, anyways... That's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.